Hello, my name is Theo and today I will show you the drawing function of Erisketch. We have opened a new project. In the middle you can see our workshop. We select the drawing mode in the top left corner of our main menu. We start by drawing a polygon surface. We have different surfaces that we can draw. These are only for the optics and have no direct influence on the irrigation. The standard is for example the lawn. Further we have concrete areas. Beds with various flower mixes. Here you see the beautiful flowers. Furthermore we got bedding with mulch. We can draw scrubs or hedges. And different pathways. Tetris, diagonal, wild, honeycomb. Several pathways in changing colors and laying patterns. We have the possibility to work with water, so we can draw a pool or something. This is a quick overview of all the surfaces you can choose to create a plan for your customer. We clear the page and start with a piece of lawn. If we select the grid function above, the mouse pointer always follows the lines and intersections from the grid. This makes drawing more accurate. So I can draw 70 meters by 19 meters. And this side is 11 meters. And the last side is measured by 19.9 .9 meters. Confirm with OK and the surface is finished. If we now select the surface, small squares appear in the corners. We can select these and change the shape of holding down the left mouse button. The length of the sides change in real time. Between the squares we have round dots. If we select them, we can draw bows. This allows us to draw curves or circles. We can insert a new square with a double click and we have a new corner point, which we can move in any direction to create a new form. And between them appears a new dot. And now, instead of a square shape, we have a naturally curved lawn area. Once we have selected the areas, information such as the size of the area and the circumference appears in the status bar. Here we got a lawn area with 382 square meters and the circumference about 94 meters. We can edit a selected area. Here is a toolbar at the bottom left. We can change the type and the structure later. For example, we can change the lawn area into a shrub area. Or into a path area in several structures, colors and laying patterns. We can also transform the object. For example, we can scale it. That means we can adjust the size by changing the horizontal and vertical dimensions or just change the proportions as a whole. To do this, we enter a percentage here, for example 150%. 
confirm and the size will be adjusted. We can rotate the object. To do this we enter the number of degrees here and confirm. And the object rotates 90 degrees. There is always the possibility to create a copy of the surface, which remains in the original position. This way we can edit the surface and return to the original position at any time. So if we turn the object too far, we can easily select the wrong one and delete it. The surface can also be mirrored. And in this case too, we can copy the item. To do this, we draw a line, a mirror, so to speak, over which the surface is to be mirrored. Just draw the line and the item jumps over. Now the surface is mirrored, inverted. Next, we can change the styling of the object individually. We can change the color of the border, the color of the surface, the thickness of the borders. We can change the opacity of the color and make the area more transparent. The borderline can be dashed. Corners can be pointed or rounded. We can add some line caps or some shadows. But now let's go back to our lawn. If we select the object by clicking on it, we can copy the object with the key combination Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Select both objects, Ctrl and C, Ctrl and V, and we have four. Let's have a look at the Boolean Ops. If we now move the objects over each other, we can unit them with this operation. There is furthermore the option to intersect. Subtract or exclude them. If we choose Preserve Operand in the menu, the function changes so that not the first surface is subtracted from the second surface, but the second from the first. Let's go back to the beginning. We draw a large square lawn with polygon. With the brush we have the possibility to draw all surfaces freehand. That means we can draw lawn areas, flower beds, shrubs or pathways. Let's select the past Tetris 1 and the brush surface will appear on our mouse pointer. We can change the size and shape of the brush surface. We got a dot, triangle, square, several brushes. Now let's draw a path on our lawn. When done, just press escape. It is possible to move the path away. But we can't edit the shape. To be able to edit the path on the surface, we have to convert it into a polygon. 
using the toolbox on the bottom left. We can switch between brush and polygon and now edit the surface. Simply draw angles over the boxes or curves over the points. To make the whole thing look nicer, we want to cut the path cleanly to the lawn. Just mark the lawn. Select Boolean operations. Activate preserve operand. Choose intersect. Then one click on the lawn and the path is trimmed. That looks good already. Now we have two layers, the lawn layer and the path layer. We can decide which layer is up and which is down by pressing plus and minus. For example, marking the path and pressing the minus key on the keyboard. Then the two layers swap their position. If we mark the lawn and press minus, the path is back on the lawn layer. With the plus and minus on the keyboard, we can adjust the position of each layer. Now let's draw some trees. In the toolbox, we find different trees. Choose a tree, position it on the surface and confirm the position with a click. If we now drag the mouse pointer in one direction, the size of the tree changes. Pick another tree. The size is always displayed. And another one. We can copy the trees as with other objects with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. With bushes it works the same way. Simply select one, choose the position and confirm with click and set the size. Drawing in trees and bushes makes sense when choosing the position for the sprinklers. If we place a sprinkler directly behind a tree or bush, we will only spray against the trunk or leaves. And not onto the lawn the way we want it to. There are other objects we can add. For example, stones, seating areas, lightning elements, cars and sunbeds. We can equip our garden as we want it to. Now we delete the whole plan. Right up here is a garbage can. Now I will show you how to import a picture from a drawing. An aerial view from Google Maps or a picture from a drone into Eriesketch. We can import pretty much any image file, even PDFs are possible. If it is a cut file from AutoCAD, it has to be converted to in JPEG or in PDF first. The size of the image file should be less than 4 MB. Because two large image files limit the performance of the program. So it makes sense to crop aerial images in advance with another image editing program and only import the areas that is to be irrigated. To import the background image we click on underlayer on the left and the browser opens. We select the JPEG file and place it in the middle of the worksheet. Scroll in with the mouse wheel and the black circle appears on the mouse pointer. Now we have to set a scale. Mark for example the driveway which is 3 meters wide. Enter the distance in millimeter, centimeter or meter. Confirm with OK and the program adjusts the image to the grid. We can edit the image afterwards. In the toolbox at the bottom left you can reset the scale. We can change the image, for example, to rotate or to mirror it.
and the opacity of the image can be changed. We could take the background image in exactly the same way and draw in the sprinklers and drip pipe. However, this can be confusing due to the many different structures. Therefore, it is recommended to use the polygon areas to trace the lawn and the beds. Select Polygon, Lawn, Fine Cut Lawn and trace the area. I have now roughly traced the lawn. As we learned earlier, we can still change the selection afterwards with the boxes and trace curves with the dots. Now we have a large lawn. Let's draw the beds. To do this we pull the lawn aside. We select a bed, for example mulch. Also, we pull this layer aside again to draw trees and bushes now. Now we drag the bed layer and the lawn layer back into position. The last drawn area is always on top. This can be changed, as you know, by using the plus and minus key. One flower bed is still missing. Therefore, we choose shrubs. Once the lawn is draw, we can see the type, size, and circumference of the area in the status bar. A surface of 231 square meters and a circumference of 102 meters. The lawn area is 714 square meters. And the bed with mulch is 200 square meters. Now you know how to create the plan for your project in a few minutes. See you next time.